2012, we've chosen to suggest that the Edinburgh International Festival will make a wonderful contribution to an uplifting of the human spirit, something that the festival, I think, does rather well, and something that is especially appropriate for a year when the United Kingdom is celebrating the Olympic Games. In these times, more than ever, I think we deserve a little bit of levity, a little bit of optimism, a little bit of magic. We are adding, um, as a major contributor to our program, uh, a new venue. Effectively, three separate performance spaces contained in a giant warehouse. It's going to be an experience of an entirely different nature because in these empty shed out at the Lowlands Hall in Ingleston, you will experience theatre works of a scale that simply don't fit into a conventional theatre space. I'm delighted that for the very first time this year, we are extending not only our program out to places like Ingleston, but also NVA and Angus Farquhar will be collaborating with the festival, indeed all the festivals, in a giant lumiere, an illumination of one of our great landmarks, Arthur's Seat. We are absolutely delighted and thrilled to be welcoming the Mariinsky Ballet from St. Petersburg with those maestri of dance and music, Ratmansky and Gergiev, taking charge of this fabulous production of Cinderella. We have three major and very exciting projects in the opera program this year. A new production of the Macropolis case by Janacek, to be conducted by Richard Farnes, a fantastic opera about opera. We also have William Christie and Les Arts Florissant leading the musical um, side of a fantastic new production of Davide Jonatas. David and Jonathan, the story of two friends separated by battle because of their warring parents. Some years ago, Scottish Opera created a fantastic opportunity for as yet untried teams of composers and librettists, very well known as their 515 series. Some of the fantastic results of that initiative are finding its way to Scottish Opera's collaboration with the Edinburgh International Festival this year in four new works. Deborah Corker is an extraordinary choreographer and this year we're delighted to be bringing a full-length ballet, a magpie of musical delights accompanying her take on the story that most of you know from the male perspective and its operatic manifestation, Eugene Onegin. But her performance this year of Tatiana actually takes it from the female perspective of the, the heroine of Tchaikovsky's great and Pushkin's great story. This is very much a Brazilian choreographer who is as sexy as is possible to be, interpreting a great Russian story. Silvio Pucarete returns to us this year from his triumph two or three years ago in Faust. And this year he's teaming up with the Irish musician Sean Davey in what promises to be an extraordinary collaboration based on Jonathan Swift's satirical novel of the 18th century, a real satire of the political situation and circumstances of the 18th century, Gulliver's Travels. Every new generation br brings its own different ideas of what theatre, of what dance, of what music, of what opera might be. With that in mind, and most especially in this year where the UK is hosting the Olympic Games, we feel it's very important across all of the genres that the Edinburgh Festival represents, music, dance, theatre, opera, to have a very important, very coherent engagement from a new generation of talent. We have two great youth orchestras, the European Union Youth Orchestra with Gian Andrea Noceda and the Gustav Mahler Young Orchestra with Daniele Gatti performing fantastic music by Mahler and Wagner. 
Dmitry Krimov and his theatre school from Moscow will be presenting a wonderful performance of The Midsummer Night's Dream, influenced by As You Like It, two of Shakespeare's most charming comedies. The Juilliard Dance Ensemble comes from a great school in New York, and in this wonderful triple bill with works from Jose Limon, um, Alexander Ekman, and Nacho Duarte, we have a fantastic trilogy of very different choreographic voices showing off the virtuosic and athletic skills of these young dancers, of these future stars of, of the ballet and the dance world. We have two major residencies by great orchestras this year. The London Symphony Orchestra and Valery Gergiev performing the complete symphonies of Shimonovsky and Brahms with, in addition to that in the programs, Nicola Benedetti and Leonidas Kavakos performing the Shimonovsky's violin concertos. And over two concerts, the Cleveland Orchestra and Franz Welser Merst will be performing Schmettner's great life-affirming, nationalistic, um, chest-thumping, beautifully romantic piece, Mav Last, My Country, his tribute to his place on the planet. We have two very exuberant and very special projects in the dance program. We have Aditi Mangal Das Dance Company from India, and from Australia, Lee Warren and Dancers. Lee is a great choreographer and a great dance creator. He was a collaborator with Rudolf Nureyev, and he's collaborating on this very beautiful, levitating um, double bill with the great Australian didgeridoo player, William Barden. There is simply no better place to be on earth than Edinburgh in August. The creativity, the generosity of spirit, the diversity of cultures that you can encounter in this discreet, sleepy little city that bursts with energy and life and vibrancy in August is something you will never have experienced the like of. This city really is the most perfect setting for a summer festival. Join us in August for the time of your life. You will not regret it.